Uh, hi, Dr. Shevers. How are you today? Good. How are you? Good. Uh, well, we're with uh, Dr. Noel Shevers from San Jose again, and uh, let's see what we're going to talk about today. What did you want to share today? Well, today we're going to talk about uh, acute low back pain and how it uh, is often treated and the symptoms are usually the thing that's treated rather than any underlying cause and how that when you just mask the symptoms that bout of acute low back pain that you got from picking up a bag of groceries can then develop into a chronic condition that uh, leads to years of pain and I, you know, ends up hitting you in the pocketbook quite hard because instead of dealing with the problem initially, you've let it go to the point that it uh, it can no longer really be fixed and you're just dealing with chasing the symptoms around. Um, didn't you, I, I think we spoke about someone, I don't know if you remember, there was someone you spoke about, an actual case situation where I believe it was a gentleman that came to you and he had some something that was kind of old. Do you remember yeah, what I mean? I mean? Yeah, it was like when somebody had a car accident with uh, and had neck pain and had not really dealt with it until many years later, and it had led to all kind of arthritic changes of the spine, and it, uh, it then couldn't be dealt with. But with the low back, um, it is one of the most common causes of people taking time off work uh, about 80% of acute low back ends up in their primary care physician's office, and they're prescribed some kind of muscle relaxant or anti an anti-inflammatory and a painkiller. And about 20% of those cases then become chronic low back pain, which becomes much more difficult to deal with versus if you actually instead of just dealing with the pain but deal with the underlying structure the muscles the bones and the joints in the low back when the injury occurs you know you can stop that from becoming a chronic problem and those things aren't going to be corrected by taking sure. ibuprofen and flexerol and if you go see a chiropractor and you know they can not only help you get the pain under control and get the body healing itself and get everything working the way it's supposed to, um, one of the most important things the chiropractor can do is at the end of those, you know, five or six or ten visits that they've got that under control for you is that they can put you on a stretching regime or give you the exercises and, yeah. you know, help you use um, a foam roller which are all things that then if you incorporate them into your, you know, kind of daily life three or four times a week, you can just avoid those problems, you know, forever down the road. And it then just becomes a great investment in yourself to, have, you know, to just never have the, the problem except when you've actually injured it rather than you just wake up and, you know, you're in pain. I mean, who wants to wake up and for no reason, you know, not be able to get out of bed. Yeah. Yeah, and and then no pen, no not have to take the pain medications either which with their side effects. I, yes, and on top of the fact, I you know, if you live on uh ibuprofen and flexerol, at some point your liver is going to have something to say about that. Yeah. Yeah, I think of all my family over the years how, you know, when I think of relatives that, uh, you know, they pretty much just live on painkillers, you know, have a headache, take a painkiller, back pain, painkiller, and they just don't think twice about it. I mean, unless we, unless people understand this, which I, I'm i sure more and more people did. I mean, I didn't up until maybe 20-some years ago. Um, I, you know, I, I, I would be living my life that way now, you know. So it's, this is really, this is really great for people to really become aware of this and, and was there anything you wanted to add before we we end it for this for this conversation? No, I think that's pretty good for this afternoon. Okay. All right. See you next time. Okay, we'll talk to you next time. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Long with Long Chiropractic. Did you know you only have 14 days to seek medical treatment after an auto accident in order to be covered by your insurance? Did you know that even a minor accident can cause whiplash and other spine injuries that can lead to major pain and headache? We'll see you the same day you call, so you don't have to wait to get relief from your pain. We have on-site x-ray, massage therapy, and many other treatments here at Long Chiropractic. Don't choose to live another day in pain. Choose Long Chiropractic.